Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video, I wanna be reviewing the electrical conduction system of the heart. So let's get started. So now let's look at the specific parts of the electrical conduction system. Normally, everything should start here in the SA node. The SA node stands for sinoatrial node and it's located in the right atrium in the upper part of it. And we like to refer to this as the pacemaker of the heart because it causes your heart to beat at a rate of 60 to 100. Now the SA node is responsible for making the atria contract. So it causes, when it fires, it causes atrial depolarization. So whenever the electrical signals leave here, go through these internodal pathways, over here we have a pathway so it can actually get over here to this left atrium because it's a little bit over there, called Bachmann's bundle. And then it goes down and hits the AV node. AV node, that stands for atrioventricular node. And we refer to this node as the gatekeeper. And why do we call it that? Well, the AV node helps delay or slow down impulses for just a little bit because it's allowing these atria to fully empty themselves and allow the blood to go into the ventricles because we don't want there to be leftover blood in the atria before the ventricles contract and we don't want the atrium ventricles contracting together because we would have problems. So signal will leave here and it will go down to the bundle of his. So now we're ready for ventricle depolarization. So what's that gonna lead to? That's gonna lead to contraction of the ventricles. So it goes down through bundle of his, it's gonna go down through the bundle branches. You have right bundle branch, you have left bundle branch, and then it's gonna hit the Purkinje fibers. So whenever this system occurs, the electrical conduction system shooting from SA node all the way to the Purkinje fibers, we can pick this up and we can look at it and we can see it as our PQRST complex. So if everything's occurring normally like it should, everything's coming from our SA node originating there, it's firing the way it should, we should have on our EKG strip a beautiful normal sinus rhythm with all of its parts measuring perfectly and forming perfectly. But if there's an issue with this system, we can get dysrhythmias. We can get like atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, VTAC, etc. So now let's see the heart in action, how it actually contracts and relax whenever it is simulated by this electrical conduction system and creating this PQRST complex by looking at this animation. First, the SA node fires and this causes atrial depolarization, which causes the atria to contract. Then the signal goes down to the AV node and notice the AV node does not fire in until those atria are empty and the blood is in the ventricle. Then it's time for ventricle depolarization. So the signal travels down through the bundle of his to the bundle branches. And then the Purkinje fibers causing ventricular contraction followed by the relaxation of the ventricles. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos, then you can access the link in the YouTube description below.